Hello everyone. So this video is about a very important tool that is tea coffee. By using this tea coffee tool, you can perform the multiple sequence alignment of your sequences. So how to use this tea coffee and how to analyze or interpret the results given by this tea coffee tool. So it will be clear in this video. So in order to perform multiple sequence alignment, just open your browser and search for this tool that is tea coffee as you search now the first website that is www.ebi.ac.uk so this is the main website because this tool it is you can say it is a tool of ebi that is european bioinformatic institute so just click here on the first website now this is the home page of this tea coffee tool so this tea coffee tool it is a multiple sequence alignment program as i told you now how you can perform multiple sequence alignment by using this t coffee so for this you will need more than two sequences to perform the multiple sequence alignment so just to show you i have already downloaded sequences from ncbi website how you can download the site uh, sorry how you can download these sequences from ncbi so i have a separate video on that you can see that the link will be in the description so just copy your sequences and paste here in this section paste your sequences now enter paste a set of proteins so here you have to choose whether this sequences which are which you are going for uh, multiple sequence alignment these are either protein sequences or uh, nucleotide sequences so just click here so as these are the nucleotide sequences so i am just choosing dna you can also choose that file from where i just copy and paste here so you can either choose this that file also now in the output format you can choose that in which format you want your result like cluster w pearson or fasta msf filelip or html so you can choose either of the format like for this instance i am just clicking this html format now here are the certain other options but by default options are sufficient for the most of uh, users this third step here be notified by email so if you click here or check this box so you can give your email here so if you will give your email so the link of the result will be emailed to you and in the title section you may give the title of this job for this instance i am just skipping this so just i am unchecking this option i am not going to give my email but you may give now after this just click this submit option as you click submit option now you can see the processing has been started like mentioned here your job is currently running and this is the job id which is generated by the software itself here are the certain instructions for you like you can refresh or reload this page at any time means if the results are taking some time so they are saying that you can reload this page at any time second instruction they are giving that if the results are taking too much of time so you may also bookmark this page so that you can see this page later on and third instruction is this the results are stored for seven days it means the results which will be there so these results are stored for seven days on their server so you have to download your results within seven days now you can see the results are just in front of us now how to analyze or interpret these results so these are the some sections like first is alignment in this section the alignment is just in front of us so first of all i am just covering this alignment option here this is the t coffee the name of tool t coffee this is the version and now in this section these are the color coding means how you can understand this color coding here the good one means where the alignment or you can say the sequence which are strongly aligned so they are represented in this light pink color which are not strongly aligned these are in the you can say the light yellow color 
while where the alignment is very poor so these are aligned in either light green or blue color now these are your sequences so i have just taken five sequences so these are the accession number of sequences now let's come to the alignment so here this is the alignment so now i'm just going to uh, zoom it for you so now you can clearly see the alignment so here how to uh, read this alignment so in order to read this alignment you can see these stars so these stars represent the conserved sequence means in where the star you can notice that same alpha, you can say same nucleotide present in all of the five sequences so it means that same nucleotide is conserved in all of the five sequences so star means the conserved region while these dashes they represent you can say gap means the software has not find any uh, nucleotide corresponding to these one so these are the gaps so by this you can read your multiple sequence alignment again repeating the star means these are conserved sequence and other are just in front of you you can see that the star is not there so these are not conserved but they may have one or more similar nucleotide sequence in sequences and so these are the conserved reason so in this way you can see your result just scroll down the page and you will see your alignment result now the next section is the result summary so if you click here in the result summary section so it will show you some summary of result like first is input sequence so if you click here now it will show you that these were the sequences which you just gave to this tool for performing the multiple sequence alignment means these are our input sequences similarly in the output section it will show you the output in the alignment section it will show you the alignment as i just shown you under this alignment tab now the next section is phylogenetic tree means by this t coffee tool you can also make a phylogenetic tree so here just click under this section phylogenetic tree as you click here now you can see this is the phylogenetic tree of all of these five sequences these are the accession number of sequences like accession number of first sequence accession number of second sequence and so on this is the tree data and this is your you can say phylogenetic tree or cladogram you can also download your this phylogenetic tree data by clicking here download phylogenetic tree data so in this way you can perform multiple sequence alignment and also construct the phylogenetic tree of your given sequences so you can say this t coffee tool is a very important tool which can be used for making phylogenetic tree and also for performing the multiple sequence alignments so that's all for this t coffee tool so see you in the next video thank you very much